So the year is 2006, and for some reason you still don't own a Nintendo DS. Not to worry, Ubisoft has you covered with 2005's Dogs and 2006's Cats. Dogs came out earlier probably because of the need to compete with Nintendogs, despite being on obviously inferior hardware, but I digress. Since I'm more familiar with Cats and hadn't properly played through Dogs until I streamed it this July, I'll be talking about this game first. So, how does Cats fare well? Let's find out. I'm actually surprised there's even a story to this game at all. You create your character, which you never see throughout the entire game, go to the park and meet a cat-loving blue-haired girl. Afterwards, you convince your parents to get a cat, and they get convinced real easily, and that's kinda it. There are some random story bits during school hours, but they really add nothing to the game. The story feels rushed and unnecessary, and is there only as an explanation for the two-week time limit. You can extend that to three or even four, I believe, but more on that later. At the beginning, you get to name your cat and pick a breed of your liking. It's fairly limited at the beginning, but you'll get to choose more breeds after the initial playthrough. The girl you meet at the beginning will check on your progress every Sunday, so you need to make sure your cat's skills are progressing at a good rate. Skills? Well, yes. This game plays like an RPG. You have the living room and the bedroom to interact with your cat. You can feed, play, or clean your cat using hands or accessories. There are actually a lot of items you can obtain by going to the shop and buying stuff with your daily 300 coin allowance. And a lot of new ways to interact with your cat as you level them up in the four skills. Mood, friend, punch, and looks. You'll soon find out which actions work best when leveling these skills. The skills really don't affect your cat in any way. They just act as a progression bar, but your cat really doesn't get affected when you upgrade the skills, which is a shame. You can also leave the veranda door open so your cat can leave and explore outside. This leads to a number of different things your cat can do, which will affect their stats. Apparently your cat can leave the house at night by some random chance, and can be affected with triple digit increases or decreases to stats, but I've never actually seen it happen. The thing is, is that you'll soon find out the best strategy for winning this game and do nothing else. You won't interact with your cat anymore, you won't do any more interesting unlocks, you'll just do the basics required to progress further in this game. It certainly makes the game feel more limiting than you originally thought. You can use the weekends to build their skill more efficiently since you don't have school to worry about. If you make a good strategy, you get to continue playing, but normally you only have two weeks of playing. More on this later. Despite being isometric, the graphics are nice and colorful, but the character models do look strange. The cat models look alright, but there aren't a whole lot of them, just color variations for the most part. The close-ups of your cat somehow look off. It doesn't help that they didn't bother to make any close-up reactions other than after a meal you've served them. There are also a number of different animations as you play with your cat, so that's nice. In order to make the game world feel more alive, we need some music. There are a couple of different music tracks, but you'll be hearing the same tune most of the time. The music does differ each week though. The shop and cutscenes have their own music as well. It's all a bit uninspired though, not very memorable or catchy. Now to the ending of the game. After a two week period, the girl will evaluate your progress and determine whether or not you get to keep your cat. I believe you'll need all your cat's skills at 4 or above to extend your game. If not, you'll be getting the typical Lazy Bones ending and the game ends. Now you get to see your previous cat in the album if you want to relive memories or something. More importantly, new breeds are now unlocked and you get to play with them. Not that the gameplay somehow becomes amazing, but it's a nice bit of replayability nonetheless. And those are my thoughts on cats. Overall, it's not a very good game. It's limited, it lacks depth. But will dogs be an improvement? 